Hello, right, another little video for Matic obviously. Um, just wanted to sort of give you an overview of, of what's likely, you know, or what the possible scenarios are for Matic over this next week. Alright, so let's just say Bitcoin stays as it is or pushes up towards 9000 and beyond. Okay, if that happens, Matic will probably have slow uh, growth but to the upside. Um, as more money flows into Bitcoin, uh, less money will go to the alts, and Matic is, um, well, you could call it a second-rate alt. You know, it's not in the top ten, so it's it's when when, it, when there's a pump with general alts after Bitcoin sort of holds at a certain high level for a few days, Matic uh, isn't the first to be pumped. Matic is kind of a an afterthought, um, but it's a good afterthought because it generally reaches, you know, 10 to 15 percent um, pump in one day. But it's uh, it's not the first um, choice. Um, if Bitcoin falls, then Matic falls with it. Um, what we need to be uh, aware of, um, and I said it in my previous video, and I'll say it again. It's this 200 uh, MEA that we've got, and um, it, which I've made a big plump white line here. So, we're looking on the hourly chart, because really, Matic's such an early sort of new coin that the hourly chart seems to hold to me the most relevance when you're looking at it. Um, only because it's such a small, fresh chart that you know we have, we have kind of don't have much other choice but to look at it with a with a hourly when you're trying to map some kind of direction. So what I'm looking at here, so like th th this is where we were. So we, 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 we were, we're right at the very beginning, okay? Um, it reached a peak, sold off, that's what happens. Um, it, it it tumbled and fell and uh, was bought back up, but it fell and continued to fall. And as you can see, we're underneath the 200 MEA. As soon as the MEA uh, goes underneath the trend, we start to pick up momentum. We pick up momentum, we stay above it, we stay above it, and uh, well, like I say, we had that parabolic top, okay, so w w what was always going to happen was always going to have a tumble when something like this happened, uh, and we stayed above it, we stayed above it, but there's there's no chance that it could have held, and then when it went beneath it, we struggled to stay, uh, we struggled to get back above it. This was just a um, people sort of buying it back, scalping to be honest with you, because um, this is how it was moving, but it broke through it and broke through it, but it had to come back down and it came back down and it's staying underneath it, okay. That that 200 MEA um, currently is falling, so it's getting lower with every hour that goes by, so that means the resistance is getting lower every hour that goes by. Um, which also uh, means that we're being crushed into a smaller and smaller range. Now, the support that I hold to be relatively strong is, we'll just call it the two cent mark, it's around about the two cent mark. Now, we saw that that two cent mark was broken the other day, and it was bought back up, but it was broken. So, it's reasonable to assume that it can be broken again, um, if it's broken in a more of a, uh, let's say, controlled manner, because this was a result of a, of a Bitcoin sell-off, if it's broken in more of a controlled manner, we could be looking at further pullbacks um, and then having to establish a new support. So I'll draw it in now. Uh, next support level is going to be probably it's probably going to be here I mean there will be other supports down the line but a 1.2 cent mark is going to be a strong support level uh, and regardless of the rest of the market if Bitcoin falls or whatever I'll be very 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 surprised if it breaks down further than that so we're not having a good moment right now from what it looks like um, uh, Matic is struggling to make its way up above that and when it gets close to it it's quickly rejected. 
So the likelihood I feel of it falling beneath this current support line of two cent is, um, I think, is fifty-fifty. We could fall beneath it, and like I said, if it's in a more of a controlled fashion, a slower fashion, uh, unrelated to the rest of the market, like Bitcoin and specifically, then we could could quite easily find ourselves trickling down to here. Now when we do get to here, this is going to be optimum time to buy Matic. Um, this is going to be perfect. And, and if we do find ourselves down here, this is where we will be able to definitely, 100% make our way back up. Now I say 100%, let's say 95% make our way back up because anything is possible obviously. Um, we're going to still have to see how this plays out over the next few days. Matic is struggling at the moment. Its volume is decreasing. Um, it's uh, it's one of the IEOs that, that, that people are now beginning to question. But um, personally, if you didn't know anything about the project and you were just looking at the chart, and you were looking at the fact that it was a Binance ICO, then you probably would question it, its validity and, and think, what is all this about? This isn't normal for this, something to look like this. It's just not normal. So what? why would anyone think that it would ever continue? You know, uh, you've got to look at the bigger picture. I mean, I believe it'll get back up here. I've said just under a week uh, at some point last week I said that I'll give it six weeks to, until it starts to try and make its way above this level so that would be just say five and a half weeks from now so the end of June beginning of July that's where I expect to be uh, making our way back up towards here that's my that's my theory behind it but what we first of all need to do is establish that this is now the bottom and then we need to break above this 200 MEA which is, uh, like I said, and I'll say it again, we, we are it's curving down now, so it's it's on its way down it's it's, um, it's looking a bit more like this and the rate we're going, that's how we're going to be so if that does happen this would make a, a little tiny sort of uh, the wedge that some people are referring to, which we are a descending wedge, which a lot of the time is interpreted as a bullish signal. But Matic is a strange chart, and um, it's so new it's difficult to pinpoint exactly what it wants to do. I'm still playing the optimist, and I still think that we are going to break above this. But uh, we're really struggling to to stay anywhere close to it. We're rejected straight away, uh, and those rejections, from what I can see here, are, are quite strong. Yeah, look, I mean, straight down, we get to it straight down again, and actually forming a lower low. So um, we're just going to have to see what happens. Like I say, the combination of low volume and heavy rejection. Uh, from a descending, um, from a, from a descending uh, um, MEA like this, that's playing as a resistance, isn't good. Even though we've got a descending wedge taking place, um, which would suggest a bullish breakout, it does look overall it does look quite bearish. Um, it's still too early to to be certain of that, but. Um, I'm not as optimistic as I was on my previous video, I should mention. Um, it's all about this. It's all about this move. Um, so, well, let's see if I can give a, an estimation, a, a rough time frame as to, as to what I expect to see happen. So this is only going to be very rough for you. So, yeah, by the 8th or the 9th, so in a, a week's time we're going to see a breakout either to the up or to the down and I think it'll be to the up to be honest with you but the 
the chances, I should say, the, the likelihood is is decreasing in every hour, unfortunately. So let's keep our fingers crossed and see how we go. Anyway, I thought I'd just update you with that because um, I've, 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 I've been watching it sort of casually for the last couple of hours since I made my last video. And I thought I'd better update you and keep you, keep you um, up, up to date with what I think. Anyway, thanks for watching. Uh, take it easy and I'll catch you on the next one.